The Kamchatka earthquake is not the end. It is only the beginning. Today, I will discuss what lies behind the polished language of official statements, how to recognize the approaching threat, and what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones, because the next catastrophe may strike where it is least expected. On July 30th, 2025, a magnitude 8.8 earthquake struck Kamchatka, one of the strongest seismic events in modern history. It was the most powerful earthquake to hit Kamchatka since 1952. The epicenter was located approximately 150 to 160 kilometers, about 95 to 100 miles east of the Russian city of Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky, at a depth ranging from 17 to 32 kilometers, according to various reports. The earthquake generated tsunami waves that reached Japan, Hawaii, and the western coast of the United States. In Russia, localized flooding occurred and evacuations were carried out in Severokorsk and the coastal areas of Kamchatka. In the city of Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky, the tremors reached at least intensity of magnitude six damaging several structures, including a kindergarten and a clinic. Injuries among the populations were reported. Following the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake off Kamchatka's coast, a wave of aftershocks was recorded, many of which were felt in populated areas of the region. Within just a few hours, at least five strong aftershocks were registered with magnitudes ranging from 4.8 to 6.0. Again, the most powerful magnitude being 6.0. Over the course of the day, the total number of aftershocks of magnitude 3.0 or higher exceeded 170, with eight of those exceeding magnitude 6.0. According to specialists, a powerful aftershock sequence is underway with additional tremors of up to magnitude 7.5 expected within the next month. In today's address, I will comment on our own forecast. This is not just another routine seismic event in the Pacific Ring of Fire. To understand what makes this earthquake different and why it is so alarming, we must first examine its underlying causes. 